on the drums. What are you doing today? Turn that down, we're gonna get copyright. Thanks. Good old Brian there picked me up and we're gonna go for a little diggerooski. He's gonna buy me a coffee tonight. Aren't you, bud? Thought I am, buddy. Pretty right he is. But I got an infrared flashlight coming because this infrared thing, it hits the friggin' the ring even dauber on the friggin' doodad, and that's why you're getting this line right here. So I don't know if I like that too much. Can you extend it out? Well, you can probably unscrew this one too, but which will bring it up a little higher, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it because if we just do this, we're golden, bud. That fucking works. We're driving along here, and Brian was telling me about what fuels not to use in your snowblower, or no. Your snowblower, lawnmower, weed whip, wow. But it's anything that's mixed, it don't really matter. But, well. yeah, but it started with what? Uh, the power washer. Yeah, the power washer. Okay, so he says, don't use regular, it's got too much what? Ethanol? Ethanol. Ethanol. In use mid-grade, you won't have a problem. Okay, so I said to him, well, how come my lawnmower's running fine? And you said, because you use it all the time. And I said, how come my fucking lock splitter's running fine? Well, I don't know, but your lock splitter, how often do you use it? Twice a year. How come my stone blowers aren't okay? Because it's mixed, probably. No, it's not. How come my weed whacker and my fucking leaf blower you, run okay? Do you put um, the winterization stuff in the fuel or what? No, I do not. No, but you're actually... <laughs> you? <laughs> no. You're talking about me. Uh, no. This is coming from a guy that has a brand new John Deere, bought it brand new, boys. Brand fucking new, I'm telling you. And it, I don't think it's ever been inside. It's been in the back shed. Oh, I just can't do it now because it's got a flat tire. So okay, so now it's outside. It's How long has it been outside? It's at the back door. Most of the summer, who cares? Buy a new one. Fuck it. Well, if I made friggin' $2,565 a year, I'd buy a new one every year too. I wish I made that guy. He's independently wealthy and he won't tell anybody. But he just fucking hired me like 30 prostitutes for like, what, a couple hours? Four. And then we had, what, like one or two beers? Ish. No, but you're supposed to use mid-grade in all your small engine stuff because of the ethanol. That's all. Awesome. Leave a comment down below if you agree with Brian. Because he's probably right, but like I said, I just don't give two shits and my stuff's been running okay except for my friggin' More. power washer. And power but washer. I know damn well, without even finishing this video, you're gonna say, that's because you ran it without water in it. No, it's not, but anyways. I know you're gonna say that, so I'll just put that in there for you. Yeah, I ran it for, let's say 10 seconds without water. The water has nothing to do with the motor though. Yeah, exactly, that's but anyways, pump. that's fine if you think that, it's cool. And I agree with you, you don't wanna run a pump dry too long, but I didn't run it that in a few minutes, your boys. But anyways, going off that subject, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button, wouldn't you? You were saying. Ethanol is not good for smaller motors. There you go. But anyways, we got a Tim Hortons coffee, right? And uh, Bill got his medium. And as you can see, the infrared does them good. We're just flying into Sarnia here and we're gonna see what the hell we see, boys. But I got a flashlight strapped to my freaking camera in case we see any anybody tweaking in the bushes. We can catch them on camera. Oh, hey, I heard a rumor. What's that? Remember my buddy that did that big burnout? Oh yeah. I guess he's got a new set of tires. Really? Yeah. And he wants to do another burnout before he's he pulls that engine? Big one. Like, he's gonna let the tires go. So stay tuned for that, boys and girls. There's another video of uh, doing a super duper burnout one wheel peeler. His name was Sam. Peeler dealer. Freaking right it is. But hey, also, I've been checking out this other dude on YouTube and I just want to shout him out because I've, I've got a few laughs from him. He's just a kid, you know, but I laugh at stupid shit. Check it out. Whistling Diesel. Check his YouTube channel out, I'll put it at the bottom there if you want to check it out, but it's pretty funny. He's, uh, he wrecks a lot of trucks, he does. <laughs> and they're all Duramax, but, you know, good old tie rod ends in the Duramax, boys. Leave your comments below if you ever blew a tie rod end on a Duramax, guaranteed you yeah, have, freaking right you have. It's called the Weeble Wobble Wheels. Hey, okay. Weeble Wobble Wheels. Freaking right it is. Anyways, I'm going to put you down for a minute and have a drink of coffee and then we'll be back. Well, me and Brian were in Cantair Park and we were uh, trying to make some new friends, but didn't look like anybody even wanted to talk to us. <laughs> like, how many times did I say, how you doing, and waving, and just nothing, just, I think we were called pervs. A couple and, comments, that was all Yeah, you know. hopefully I got that on video, but uh, if you see yourself on this video, then uh, we were just trying to be friends, buds, girls, peoples. But no. 
You, I guess you kids are just too good for us old folk anymore. Hey. Sitting at minus four. I can't tear apart. Can't see how you doing. It is cold. Freak sakes. Four degrees. Look at the Halloween display here. Oh, yeah, they did. Hey. Hey, all right. Look at that ghost flying around. That's freaking decent. Decent. I know the lighting's not very good, but hey, they got her shined up, they do. Freaking right, they do. Fucking just beaming them fucking hardcore. <laughs> Sorry about that. Apologize. Well, me and Brian are heading home for the night. We are. We uh, did a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I don't know how much footage I got for you or anything like that, but hey. A whole lot of nothing. I'll check her out and see if there's anything that we might be able to laugh at least once at, eh? And then if there is, I'll slap her on. But a lot of this was infrared, and it is what it is, boys. We're Hopefully in the dark. Hopefully it annoyed all. Yeah. We, uh, we didn't really uh, plan on doing a video tonight, but fuck it. Why wouldn't we? But anyways, like I said, make sure you hit that like button if you like going out with Brian. He's a pretty good guy, he is. Sometimes. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, or Brian, and uh... You know what to do for now. Money.